Now, when we first start Onyx, it's a blank slate. So while we have views and can look at different things here inside of the software, none of our fixtures are patched or they, the console doesn't know where they're addressed to send out the DMX data. So to do that, we're gonna click Onyx here in the upper left-hand corner and select patch. Now let's go ahead and patch our first fixture. We'll go to commands, then press new fixture, and we're gonna see this window pop up. Because I'm shrinking this down on my monitor, it kind of jumped off the side, but you'll see here, it pops to about full screen. Now find the manufacturer of the first fixture you want to work with. I'm gonna go to generic here, which is where you can find a variety of generic fixture profiles. And I'm just gonna patch some dimmers, some regular channels. I'm gonna press auto patch. Now I can give it a name if I want. I'll call it dimmer, sure, why not? I'm gonna double click here and enter my number. So I've got 24 dimmers. And I'm gonna leave the start ID, universe, address, and footprint all on automatic. Now, if I wanted any of these different values to not be automatic, to be a specific place that I design, then you could just turn auto off and then select the number either by using this plus and minus, double clicking and typing on the keypad that pops up or by clicking and typing on the keypad on your keyboard if you have one. Perfect. Now we're gonna press apply to patch. Now the fixtures get added in to Onyx. We can see here that they're patched. Awesome. So now let's go ahead and add a few more fixtures. So I'll go to commands, new fixture. This time I'm gonna go to elation. So D, E, I press that twice. And hey, look, it's highlighted. No surprise there. Let's go over here and let's grab, uh, I don't know what we're gonna grab. Let's find something nice. Yeah, let's go, let's go ahead and do one of those new uh, Artiste Picasso. Good fixture, all right. We're gonna put it in standard mode. So this is our mode setting. And then we'll press auto patch. Perfect, now we select our amounts. Say we've got 10 of these guys. This time, I want my start ID to start at 101. So I'm just gonna click and type on my keypad but I'll leave the universe address and footprint controls on their own. Now, if you do want to use footprint, just turn address off and that allows you to leave gaps between your different fixtures and you can see it visualized here on the right. Perfect, I don't want that. I just want that all in automatic and I'll press apply. So now we've got some moving lights as well as our dimmers patch. We can now go ahead and uh, use this back arrow at the upper left hand corner and be able to go back. Perfect. Now our fixtures are patched and we're able to move on to the next step, which is adding our fixtures into the 2D plan.